guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing this uh, thrift flip, thrift store makeover. I will be creating a little holder for my all my essential oils. I had picked up this spice rack off of Facebook Marketplace for $10 and I want to um, upcycle it and create a shelf that will hold all my essential oils. So for that I will be using some wood glue, some hot glue. I have picked up these square dowels at Dollarama as well as these paint stir sticks. Uh, they all came from Dollarama. And then I'm gonna use all Annie Sloan uh, original chalk paint as well as this sod to remove the little uh, round dowel that's on top because I want the back to be unobstructed. I, I will be also using some stencils and black acrylic paint. So like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this piece off of it. I would like to also mention that this video is part of a hop that is hosted by my dear friend Sandra from the Schwann's Nest. So there will be a link for you to hop on to uh, after you are done watching my video and the link will be in the description box to another channel and that channel will have a link for you to hop on after and eventually you'll make a full circle back to my channel. I will also have Sandra's channel link down below. Once I was finished, I was trying to figure out a way to attach these uh, wood, uh, square dowels, uh, square pieces of wood, um, but then I figured I will probably have to use a saw to cut them. So I measured those as well as the stir sticks and went into my garage to cut them. Once I cut them to a size, I uh, uh, of course did not measure very well so I had to just shave off a little tiny piece off of these uh, uh, stir sticks so that's what I'm doing here. This actually wasn't very hard to do and once I was finished um, I will be gluing and now for gluing I am using hot glue for more of an instant hold and so that way it keeps it in place while uh, the wood glue is curing. And it allows me to work on it without having to wait for it to be uh, fully cured because that can take up to 24 hours. I have also picked up these scrap pieces of wood to attach to the back of the top shelf because I needed to, um, I wanted to elevate the back of it so I can have like tiered uh, levels on the shelf and that's what I'm using these uh, square dowels for as well uh, for the middle shelf. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I do these type of videos very often along with some dollar store DIYs as well as furniture makeovers. So I would love it if you consider subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. And don't forget to go look in the description box where you will find links to my other channels. I have a home channel and a cooking channel as well. Sing along to our favorite 
starts racing when I'm with you. Once all of this was on, I did add a little bit extra wood glue just into, uh, I mean, uh, hot glue just into little crevices to keep everything in place and from not, uh, for it not to move while I'm painting it. So once the uh, hot glue had dried, I moved on to painting the piece. And like I said, I am painting the piece in uh, any Sloan's original or old white as it used to be called. And I'm just using a dollar store uh, paintbrush to do so. So at the beginning I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this uh, paper towel holder but then I decided I do not want it there so I ended up just sliding it out. I am painting the front and the side the front and the sides of this piece. I am not painting the back because I am planning on hanging this up on a wall. It actually did come with two screws uh, attached to it when I purchased it. So once I was finishing up, I realized that I kind of want to add a little um shelf on the bottom where I had removed uh, the towel bar holder or the paper towel holder uh, so I decided to use those scraps of wood that I found in a garage um, and create a shelf just a simple shelf this one did not have like two levels or anything like that uh, just a shelf that I can put some extra oils if I need to and again I'm using the hot glue and wood glue together and once that has fully dried, I moved on and painted that as well. So once the piece was fully painted and had a chance to dry, I took my little hand sander and just um, sanded uh, areas where it would naturally get like a wear and tear. So for the top I decided to uh, do some just some sort of a title or some sort of writing and um, I used a uh, like a permanent marker to do so. I just figured that was probably the easiest. I was contemplating by using my Cricut but then I thought this would probably be a lot easier because it just says oil up. And I, looked up on Pinterest and a lot of the ones that I was kind of looking at had the same wording on it. 
same words on it and then for the bottom I decided to use a stencil now this was tried a couple different things to add to it but just ended up uh, sticking with the word And if you make a mistake and don't like it, you can I just paint over it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. And make sure you head on over to the description box for the next video in the lineup. So I absolutely love the way this turned out. I think it's rustic. Um, it looks great with oils on it and it's going to look great on my wall. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.